The filmmaking space is filled with a bunch of talented filmmakers. Some of them have had incredibly successful YouTube careers, making their channels go to places when in need of some filmmaking advice or knowledge, especially concerning some certain filmmaking gear. But here's the problem. Most of these guys just know how to speak in front of the camera and that's it. They have nothing that they can show to prove that they are capable of more than what we see in their channels. There's no proof of some serious project that they've ever worked on to give them the experience and authority and maybe credibility to teach aspiring filmmakers. Most of them are just fortunate enough to have had success on this platform because they're very charismatic and likable. Or maybe some of them are just entertaining to watch and listen to and to some extent some of them are just good looking, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but when you step out of YouTube, they can't do much. One of the things that I really hate, well, Maybe hate is a big word, but I really don't like a lot of camera review videos because most YouTubers only think about YouTube. They never think about client projects or individual projects that go beyond YouTube. Not everyone wants to become a YouTuber. For example, I don't get the obsession with autofocus. Yes, it's good for YouTube videos, but not necessary in other projects. I have seen YouTube filmmakers dismissing cameras just because of out of focus. Let's make a case for the Panasonic cameras, for example. They are known to have terrible out of focus system apart from the new Panasonic S5 Mark II, I think that's the name, which has improved out of focus. But the overall video quality from these cameras is incredible. The specs are unmatched. They cost way less money and have a ton of exciting features like button customization, weather sealing, great audio preamps, great internal mics, and audio functions like limiters that prevent your audio from clipping. There's just so much. In comparison to a camera system like Sony which comes short in almost every aspect here, yet it is the most hyped camera just because it has a fantastic autofocus system. I even watched a YouTuber in the filmmaking space claiming that the image quality of the Sony Alpha 7 III is better than that of the Blackmagic 6K Pro, like, bruh. Bruh. I've watched others dismissing the Blackmagic cameras just because they lack out of focus. Like, these cameras can actually record 6K RAW internally with built-in ND filters, huge screens, stereo audio recording, and cost just about 2000 euros together with a full version of DaVinci Resolve. Well, you can make a case for battery life, but not image quality, man. Or the capability of these cameras. I haven't even mentioned the dynamic range. Yeah, come on, bro. Come on, think of an aspiring cinematographer whose dream is to work with big cinema cameras like the Reds and the Aris. These great cameras have now out of focus. Think about the great cinema and anamorphic lenses which lack out of focus, or the vintage lenses that bring the nostalgic vibe. Oh my god, I love them. They are all manual lenses. How will this youngin learn how to film manually if he or she never gets to practice? How will their confidence with the cameras improve if they can't practice manual shooting simply because some random dude with a huge following on YouTube made them give up on their dream camera by always dismissing every camera that has bad or no out of focus? And this is just one thing. I'm deep into the music video and commercials business. In my entire 10 years of filmmaking, I've used out of focus only once. This is because I practiced filming with cameras that lacked out of focus, then upgraded to cinema cameras. The transition was very smooth, and the only thing that I struggled with was the weight of the cinema cameras. They are huge, by the way, and they are heavy. But this video is not about throwing shade on Sony cameras or the autofocus system. It's just a general observation that I've made every time I look for camera review videos. However, this goes beyond review videos. I have seen some other weird filmmaking advice on this platform. I've seen some weird advice on lighting, color grading, sound design, just to mention a few. I don't want to start pointing fingers or mentioning names, but there is one thing that we should all agree on. If someone isn't doing something your way, it doesn't mean that the person is wrong. He just has a different way of doing it that works for him or her, and that's fine, because at the end of the day, filmmaking is an art. And art, art is a feeling, and feelings, feelings are subjective.